Welcome to Immunology Lab. In today's lab, we will be focusing on viral test. So, this viral test, it is a serological test. It is used for the diagnosis of infant fever or typhoid fever. It is caused by gram-negative bacteria. The bacteria organism name is Salmonella enterica. Within that, this can be Salmonella typhi or Salmonella paratyphi. It is found in the intestine of man. Salmonella causes O antigen on their cell wall, H antigen on their flagella. In this diagram, you can see O antigen it is present on the cell wall and H antigen this is present in the flagella. And one more antigen is VI antigen that is present in capsule. On infection, these antigens stimulate the body to produce specific antibodies which are released in the blood. The viral test, it is used to detect specific antibodies in the serum sample of patient suffering from type 1 using antigen-antibody interaction. So these specific antibodies can be detected in patient serum after six days of infection. Salmonella type 3 possess O antigen on the cell wall and H antigen on the flagella. Salmonella paratype A and Salmonella paratype B also possess O antigen on their cell wall, but have AH and BH antigen on their flagella respectively. So the principle involved in this experiment is antibody in serum produced in response to exposure to Salmonella organism will agglutinate bacterial suspensions which carries homologous antigens. So antigen-antibody interaction will take place. Today, you will be performing the experiment a rapid slide screening test. So, this is the slide. Materials required for this experiment. The first one is fresh serum sample stored at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. The serum should not be heated or inactivated. It should be a fresh serum sample. And a complete kit, vital kit containing 5 vials containing stained salmonella antigens. Salmonella type A O antigen, Salmonella type H antigen, Salmonella paratype A H antigen, Salmonella paratype B H antigen, Vidal positive control, Vidal test card or slide, and then wooden applicator stick. Procedure, how to perform this experiment? First, a clean glass slide or test card Supplied in the kit well and make it dry. So this is the glass slide. Second, label the circles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 in the test card as O, H, A, H, B, H, negative control and positive control. Like this, O, H, A, H, B, H. Positive control, negative control. Place a drop of undiluted serum in each of the four label circles 1, 2, 3, and 4. That is O, H, A, H, and B, H. And place a drop of positive control in the circle 5. So here, test serum sample should be placed in all these four wells. And in the fifth well, Positive serum, which is provided in the kit, should be placed. And then place a drop of antigen O, H, A, H, B, H in the circle 1, 2, 3, and 4, respectively. And O or H antigen can be placed in the circle 5. This is here. O, H, A, H. BH antigens are placed and in this well already positive serum sample is placed. We can add O antigen or H antigen. Mix the content of each circle with a separate wooden applicator stick and spread to the fill the whole area of the individual circle. So we have to spread both the antigen and the serum throughout the circle and to wait for few minutes. 
block the test card for a minute and observe your application. So here there is no agglutination in O, H, A, H, B, H. Agglutination was observed in positive control. So with this, you have learned about Vidal test. By watching this vital test experiment video, you would have learned about the aim, principle, and procedure, how it is performed in lab. Thank you.